MPs are recovered. Of course. Aid won't be able to get there in the aftermath, and they'll have a convenient terrorist attack as cover for everything. Coben had a few other things to say. I'm headed to your office, Grim. What am I going to find there? Something long overdue. Patch me through in telepresence when you get there. We'll talk then. Yeah! That is what I'm talking about. Fisher's at it again. He's in our house, gentlemen. Find him. No sign of Fisher. We better hurry. Our offices need to be empty. Nobody here. Just like a target. All right, everybody stay sharp. Coming in. Can anyone see the target? Tell me about Sarah, Grim. Tell me why you lied to me. It was Lambert's call, Sam. He thought he was no. protecting you. He had a recording system set up in his office. Everything that went on in there he saved. Before New York, he gave me the access codes. The files can only be triggered on site and only by me. This is what he had to say about Sarah. Sarah Fisher? I'd received reliable intelligence of a credible threat against her, one coming from a mole inside Third Echelon. The threat against Sarah would be used in an attempt to leverage Sam. Sam would then be compromised, and I couldn't allow that. So I made the hard choice. I think Sarah's death taking her off the playing board. Without her, 
her, Sam would be free to act as he needed to. He'd suffer, but she'd be safe. The rest was detailed. Preparing a new identity for Sam, securing her. Excellent work there, Anna, and keeping her hidden. Then use that despicable creature, Coven, to provide a body that could stand in for the girl. And then I lied to my best friend. Told him his daughter was dead. Took advantage of his grief and used it for third echelon's purposes. And the saddest part of this, I never uncovered the mole. The danger to her and to Sam is still out there. Which means this has to stay hidden. You and I, know. that's all. Perhaps someday... Listen to me. What's done is done. But right now, I need you. I need the Sam Fisher I worked with. Haven't you heard? He's dead. Just ask my daughter. Sam, please. My analysts have worked through the rest of the data that you got from White Box. We know what they're doing, and we can't stop it. Then what do you need me for? They've got three directional EMP generators in place. When they go off, the pulses will blanket the entire metro area. Optimal coverage pattern predictions place one of those three at the old city reservoir site. You need to go there and disable it. Why should I? Because that's the one that will hit Sarah's apartment. And if you stop it, you can save her from what's coming after. And the other two? There's only time to go after one. So go, save your daughter. I was never holding her. That was just a bluff to get you in the game. And for whatever it's worth, I'm sorry. What about you? I'm going to the White House with Tom Reed, and I'm going to try to save the president. Maybe I'll see you there. his own man now, and all his ties to his old life were gone, except for Grim. She called me to call in a favor. It was too late to go for the other EMPs, but she did want me to go get Sarah. Sam deserved that much, at least. Meanwhile, she'd be at the White House doing whatever the hell she thought she could do there. So, I said yes. No way I was going to leave Sarah down there for when the shit hit the fan. And I wasn't going to abandon her father. Not even when he just waded in and started beating answers out of people. Then again, that was pure Sam. Pure Sam when he got mad. <laughs> 